Hello, and welcome to the Knights in the Nightmare Let's Play. This is video 51, covering scene 46. Last time, we fought some random monsters that Yelma had summoned to keep us busy while she ran off to Zolganark in our body, the corpse of the Arbitrator. After the fight, we saw a cutscene in which she did reach Zolganark, and then proceeded to threaten and then attack him. Unfortunately for her, Zolganark laughed it off and returned fire, which killed Yelma. She's now dead out of the game. Next thing we know, we're there in the King's Hall staring down Zolganark. It looks like this is our chance to kill him before he takes the power of the Arbitrator for himself. There's a lot at stake here. Let's get to it. Okay, there he is. King Zolganark, Lord of the Underworld. He's the one who summoned all the monsters that wreaked havoc on the kingdom. He's the one responsible for all the death and destruction we've seen. Let's kick his ass! that was round one against Zolganark, and thanks to our duelists, we're now in a position where we can fight him pretty well. So Kaleen and Hilgard, thanks so much, but you're going to get pulled now. Kaleen, we're going to pass the torch on to Aldri. And Hilgard, I'm going to pull you out in favor of Johan, one of our heavier hitters. Okay, let's get some weapons for these guys. This rod can be overcharged by Algeri, and then when she does so, we'll give her one for general use. As for Johan, I'm going to give him two axes he can overcharge in law phase. Okay, uh, what else do we have? Hey, look at the bottom, it's Maria! There she is, she's back with her 7.77 vitality. And as usual, she's overpowered as all hell, so I won't be using her. But it's good to have her back, she's one of us. Of course, it's time for the elephant in the room, Zolganark himself. Zolganark has three heads, and each one has their own moveset, so it's going to be quite a handful. Now, the same portrait is used for all three heads, but we'll go through the move list. This is the right head, so the one near Aldri. This is the center head, which is our true target but it won't take damage until we've taken out the other two heads, so we have to prioritize. Finally, the left head, the one near Johan. Uh, we're going to take this one out first. In addition to their own moveset, 
they have their own independent rage meters as well. So the outer two heads will do the rage moves once those fill up. So more confusion. Okay, let's do this. Poor little baby. Alright, we're gonna start overcharging Johan and working on that left head. There, the left head's doing an interruptible move, but I miss it. And as a result, it heals the right head. Johan gets his overcharge off, and that maxes out the rage meter of the left head. Here we go. This is fortunately one of the more manageable rage moves in this fight. The right head's doing an interruptible move that I miss, and now he's going to bestow the aggressive buff on the center and left heads. What that does is it gives their attacks 50% more damage. Alright, Aldri's just taking out the left head. Good job. There we get to see a little bit more of Zolganark's body. Okay, good job guys. Uh, we're going to change up some weapons now. Uh, Johan, I don't need him to attack in Law Phase anymore, he can't reach. So I'm going to switch to Chaos Phase. We'll give him an Axe he can overcharge in Chaos. And then once he does that, we'll give him a General Use one. So Johan will cover Chaos Phase while Aldri covers Law Phase. Okay, I think we have a plan. Let's do this. A little premature for Maria to be talking about this, but whatever. So our target is that right head near Algeri. And this attack actually maxes out his rage move, so we're gonna go on a trip here. Alright, here we go. This one's just terrible, I hate this one. Okay, so some storm clouds, nothing big right now. And here it comes, and yes, we are dodging raindrops. Uh, Alright, maybe if I go up here... Oh. Oh. Uh, that was an error. Well, the good news is his rage meter's empty now. Back on the horse. That right head's nearly dead. We should be able to take it out this time. Right. 
There we go. Now it's just us in the center head. And he'll start taking damage now. That big purple ball in the middle of the screen that bounces around is, of course, one of these center heads attacks. And he really prefers it. You see it all the time. This fucking super ball that jumps around. I hate it so much. Looking a little lonely there, Zolkenart. We're down to the middle head, and since it's taking damage, it's also accruing rage for the rage meter. So let's load up a key item for it. I took out one of Aldri's weapons to make room for that. So another purple super ball from this guy. His rage meter has filled up. Let's check it out. That's a pretty cool move, I like that one. The pace certainly slows down a lot, doesn't it, when we eliminate two of the three heads. down to zero magic points, so it's time to farm gems. Looking pretty grim for you, Zolganark. You're down to about half health. Zolganark's rage meter is filled up again. I like that he's laughing at us. Right 
There's Zulganark has grown back his outer two heads. Fortunately, they don't have very much health, so Johan can take him out fairly quickly. Well, we got rid of the two heads, even though he ended the round by attacking us. Now that we've given him his key item, we have an extra inventory slot, so we'll give Aldri back that weapon. Zolganark survives with 200 hit points left, and we have no magic points. There we go. Good riddance. There's not much time left. Oh, um, not not looking so good there, buddy. Uh. Maybe you should pay attention, dude. Well, uh, we don't have any magic points. I guess we'll get some. So, he has a new health bar here. A new rage bar. But there's no attack indicator on the side. Um, okay, whatever. Let's just keep getting some gems. See what his story is. A new portrait, awesome colors. No moves, but the notice says the soul still burns. So I think this is his soul. So kind of like how when King Wilmgard died and he's just a ball of light, Zolganark is in a similar position. I put in Gudrun to get into position since Aldry's a little bit out now since uh, Zolganark's body has shifted a bit. We have one final key item for Zolganark, the Soul Crucible, which we collected in Stage 1, so very cute sting. Okay, well, let's beat him up. Engage. Well, the guy's an optimist. Glad we were able to get Gudrun a little action this round. 
Zolganar's just sitting there taking it like a chump, though. That attack, we maxed out his rage move, so let's see what he does. Okay, so he cries at us. Oh, here they come. Mm. Oh. Uh, getting struck by those sparkly things uh, ends the turn. So if you can't endure them, you're better off just ending the round when he launches them. Alright, we've seen everything you've got, Zolganark. We're gonna put you away. Good job, guys.
our final inventory screen. I don't do anything this time. However, afterwards, I decline the save. The reason for that is because we'll want to be able to come back to this save point in order to maximize the number of endings we can view. Let's move on.
Okay, it is time for the final fight. As we can see, the battlefield is pretty irregular, a lot of height disparities, and not many tiles that touch one another. As a matter of fact, the two empty spots where we can place knights are not touching any other nearby places, so we won't be able to move around in this next battle. We'll have to make do with the positions they gave us. Of course, we are facing off against an entity that came of Melissa, merging with the power of Zolganark. Once she had done so, we saw this malformed thing emerge, identifying herself as Malad Margus. Flashback-wise, we didn't see anything we didn't already know, but we did finally witness Zolganark summoning. It's kind of a neat thing to show us, but doesn't change the story in any way. We checked in one last time with the Lord of Aventhium, and he mentions another era draws to a close, and that he's seen these cycles over and over again with different people. So he's seen this rise and fall of mankind multiple times and still can't figure out what makes us tick. I have to say that he seems pretty relaxed considering that Malad Margus is threatening reality as it exists now. One final thing I wanted to say, we got an awesome new portrait of Maria. Man, that looks just so badass. It's funny because all she did was turn her head slightly, but it just looks rad as hell. At any rate, this is it. This is the final battle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.